Oh, Sasha, you do buckaroos, and how the heck are you? I didn't realize I hadn't got a video in for this particular beer, uh, and I really should have already, because, <laughs> you know, you got to drink these juicy IPAs as soon as possible, according to some. <laughs> according to some. Uh, steak juice, juicy IPA, 6.5% Homestead Beer Co. Uh, I really liked Homestead Beer Co. I had a lot of fun there. Talked to some nice people there. Great bartender. Uh, it was, um, yeah, they, they were kind of banter-ish, right? Uh, they had their locals that would come in. It was very nice. Um, no matter what city you go to, it seems like there are breweries you go to or, you know, brew pubs, whatever. Bars, breweries, taverns, saloons, speakeasies. <laughs> Not every place is uh, tourist-friendly. But I found Indianapolis to be very tourist friendly. I also found Columbus to be tourist friendly. And then Canal Winchester, uh, just south of Columbus, where the brew dog was. They were very tourist friendly as well. They were welcome to talk to folks. This is a nice version of the style, right? Um, A mix of, of citrus and tropical fruit right away. I personally pick up a lot of tangerine, but there's also the usual uh, tropical fruit suspects in there. Uh, you might find some, some mango, some passion fruit, some pineapple in there. Right on the nose right away. It's very bright. It's very fresh. Oh, gosh. What I, oh, gosh, that's nice. Uh, what I like about this one... Um, Wow, that really is nice. Mm, very crisp, right? Uh, a lot of the style for me tends to have a lot of lingering sweetness. This one does not. In fact, it's not very sweet at all. Just those bright fruit notes, right? A mix, again, a mix of, of citrus and tropical fruit. And again, uh, cleaning up nice in the finish with a nice mix of citrus zest. Just a little bit of tropical fruit note in there. Mm. Just very bright and crisp. A little drier than most of the style, which I really like personally. Drier finish. Let me Let me clarify that a little bit. Yeah, this one is very nice. Wow, that is good. Uh, yeah, I had a I had a few beers there at Homestead. Um, uh, they were really good, very friendly, and they gave me a few samples. I bought some stuff to go. <laughs> I bought their Pioneer Pilsner and this one to go. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they were very nice, man. Both, both the uh, well, the, the two. I, I think there's only two. There might well, other than the brew dog. I stay at the brew dog, so that's a separate entity. For, but uh, as far as in town, Canal Winchester, they had the loose rail and Homestead. So I hit the Homestead first, uh, and they I really liked them. The next day is when I hit the loose rail. Both of those breweries, Homestead and Loose Rail, are just absolutely incredible. And I think they might get overshadowed by that big, large brew dog location. But if you're like me and you like smaller breweries, the, the brew dog was great. I stayed there for five days. I loved every minute of it. I loved, I loved the room. I loved the bar. I loved the beer. The however here is, though, don't forget that there's other breweries. Uh, Homestead and Loose Rail were both outstanding. So if you're you're in town and your main focus is that brew dog, that's okay. But remember there are two other breweries that are just incredible. I think the brew dog, of course, it would be in a hotel, you've got you've got tourists, and then you've I think you've got you know folks coming down from Columbus for the special nights. But but I had I I felt like 
homestead and loose rail were the, for the locals, right? For the people that lived right in town. Because I got that feel from both of those locations. So if you're heading through that area and your focus is brew dog, don't forget don't forget Homestead and Loose Rail because both are outstanding, man. This beer is crazy good. It really is. It is an outstanding version of, of, of a juicy IPA. And for me, what I like about it is it's not as sweet as most of the style. It is bright, it's crisp. It's refreshing, and it has a rather dry finish, which I personally enjoy. So there you go. I There you go, man. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I digress. I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, Beer Evangelist. Uh, uh, prolific beer, beer drinker, purveyor of wisdom, and all around good guy, Slauncho. Uh, cheese whiz and bacon that is a good beer